Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to episode 58 of the Mitch Trubisky Player Franchise. Today's game, we're taking on the Arizona Cardinals in our second game of the young season. It is our home opener. So the first time I'm going to be playing in the San Francisco Levi Stadium, we are going to be wearing our all-black uniforms. Last week, I threw 298 yards and three touchdowns. We can ignore that one interception. Those are going to keep haunting me because I am a gunslinger. I like to force passes, especially when we're behind. Now, for those of you watching, I hope you had a happy holidays. It is after both Christmas and New Year's. So, hopefully part of your New Year's resolution was to enjoy these videos a little bit more. Because I am putting in a lot of work for you. One of my resolutions was to figure out which one of these receivers is the most reliable. As you can tell by Carlos Hyde just dropping that previous pass. Emmanuel Sanders running a deep route. Breaks away from his man. Is going to make it all the way into the end zone. And our defense proceeds to give up a field goal. So our lead is down to four. Um, I've already figured out early that our defense and our offensive line are once again our big issues on the 49ers. I should have expected that, though. They were 4-11-1 the season before I joined. So, ah. I was hoping I could turn the team around. We'll see how the next couple of games go. So ho ho this one... I feel like we have a chance to win. After that nice run by Carlos Hyde, we're setting up, set us up for a first and 10 play action. I fumbled the ball when I got hit. That counts as a fumble. I don't know why he stopped running when he got down to the five yard line. That was weird. Hopefully there's a flag. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there is. Holding. Defense. Oh, no, that's. So we turned the ball over. Thanks to a nice, nicely timed fumble by me. And now we're down 10-7. to We're handed it off to Carlos Hyde here, who, I don't know if he was making a move or what he was doing, but he picked up three. Second and seven. Again, we are still using the Kyle Shanahan playbook, the 49ers playbook. We're going to find Carlos Hyde here out of the backfield, who instead of picking up the first down, he spins and doesn't. it did nothing. I don't know what the point of that spin move was. Picked up seven. Third and one. Going to hand it off to Carlos Hyde here. Going to switch sides. He's going to get the first down. He's actually having a pretty nice game so far. Four carries, 26 yards. I need to feed him more. It's smart because it eats up clock. The issue is I'm still learning this uh, San Francisco playbook. It's probably a lot how Tom, uh, probably a lot. Of the same feelings Tom Brady had in his first season in Tampa Bay. The difference is, um, in real life, Tom Brady was quarantined. And they basically had to live in a hotel for the whole season. I don't have that issue, and I'm not studying the playbook. So, <laughs> it's similar experiences, though. We're going to find our tight end, uh, something Carey. I don't even know his first name. That's how little I know about this team right now. Gabriel Carey. He's the guy that the 49ers drafted. He's not a real player. So that's that nice pickup there sets us up for a first and 10. Let's try and keep my blockers in front of me. Let's try to buy some time. Nobody's open. We're going to scramble for the... Not get the first down. We're only pick up eight. So second and two. I step out of bounds. We are in the second quarter now. But we do look like we're in position to score, hopefully. So second and two. I'm going to hand it off to Carlos Hyde here. See if he could blast through the middle one of his blockers. Pick up the first down. He picked up the two. They're saying that it's third and one, even though he picked up two yards. That doesn't make sense to me. We'll go right back to it. Third and one. And the blockers are trash. He loses a yard. So fourth and one. Instead of kicking the field goal, which I probably should should do, we're going to go for it with Carlos Hyde. And he does not get it. Nope, he did not pick that up. I don't know how on four attempts you don't pick up one yard. So right here we're going to go to our fullback, Kyle Juskowski. I think I said it right this time. 
Nice catch there. First down at the 46-yard line. I got to run the ball more. That's the key here. Trying to call, call a screen, screen pass to Driskowski. Nice nine-yard pickup there. Setting us up on the Arizona side of the field. Second and one. Two catches, 28 yards. I don't think we got him that involved in the first game. Run here by Carlos Hyde. Just enough for the first down. Picked up three. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Making our way down, down the field. All right, so Dobson's on the outside. I want to throw it to him. I like him. He's also a damn it. So they blitzed. I had nobody open. I don't know how I don't have anybody open when they blitz. It just shows how bad my receivers are on the 49ers. <laughs> that nobody can get any separation. Emmanuel Sanders is my, supposed to be my go-to guy. But I'm not going to him yet. I'm going to scramble here. Try to find Sanders open. I overthrow him. I should have just held onto the ball and picked up yards. So that sets us up for a third and 17. We got 2.15 left in the first half. I'd like to score to make it uh, either take the lead or tie it up before halftime. We'll see how things go. See if we can get Sanders on a deep route again. Run down field, dog. Nope. We're going to find Doxson. Josh Doxson. 27 yards. That's going to bring us a two-minute warning. Yeah, we're not going to get the ball off. So first and 10 at the 22-yard line after that two-minute warning. I want to uh, start calling more plays that get George Kittle involved. He's my He is my favorite target on the team right now. I like him and I like Sanders. That's basically it. The other guys I don't, I don't trust just yet. Even Kittle, who is rarely on the field because he's considered his third-string tight end. I'm hoping by at least the, half, uh, the halfway point of the season. He, he, they move him up to second string. Carlos Hyde makes a catch there. Picks up a couple. I'm 7 for 965 yards. Having a pretty nice game. The issue has been our offensive line. There's Carey open for the first down. Down at the 7. Injury time out. I don't know who's hurt. I thought it was going to show me who got hurt. Well, it, was a, it was somebody on the Cardinals team because... They use the timeout. So first and goal at the seven yard line. A minute twenty seven left in the first half. I was hoping Carlos Hyde would get open. We're gonna find Doxon for the touchdown. Our defense gets us the ball back with 41 seconds to go. We got all three timeouts, so I say that's plenty of time to take a shot at the end zone. See if we can't score one more time in the scramble here for the first down. Pick up as much as possible. I was trying to slide there. I should call a timeout. 29 seconds left in the first half. We're on their side of the field, so we're already back in field goal range. I don't know how our defense keeps letting them score. I feel like that's going to be an issue all season. We're going to be in a lot of shootouts. And that's not how I like to play the game. I don't like to be in consistent shootouts. Just going to chuck it downfield. He does not make the catch. Incomplete second and 10. Now I want to find Sanders. Sanders is supposed to be, like I said, he's supposed to be my number one receiver. Supposed to be reliable. Looking for him over the middle. If I just get the blockers, he should get open. We'll see how things go. He's wide open there. Down at the 19-yard line. Timeout. So first and 10. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. we got 17 seconds to go. A touchdown would give us the lead before halftime. There's Sharp wide open over the middle for the touchdown. Off 
we get the ball to start things off in the second half with a 21 to 17 lead. Um, hopefully, the second half doesn't we don't the both teams don't score as much and we get more of a defensive game. That's the goal because I don't want to continue to have to score every drive. I feel like that's a lot of pressure on the team. Speaking of pressure on my offense, I just threw a pick six on the first play of the second half. So we're already in that hole again. 24-21. This and Carlos Hyde is going to pick up nothing. I don't know what happened in the first half. 10 carries, 31 yards. Yeah, he didn't have a great first half. He had a great first quarter. Then all of a sudden, he starts doing crap. Get some blockers in there. Wait for somebody to get open. We're going to find Sanders over the middle. Down at the 39-yard line. 13-yard pickup there. First and 10. He has three catches, 119 yards. We're going to find Carey once again. I'm up to 271 yards and three touchdowns. A lot of deep throws, though. That's the issue. That's probably the issue with my game. I take a lot of shots down the field, and a lot of those end up being interceptions. I need uh, realizing now that I should stop doing that. I need to start ta start taking what the defense gives me, and if they don't, scramble. If they don't give me anything good, scramble. If my running game doesn't work, scramble. If my offensive line doesn't block, scramble. That's what I need to start doing. Right back to Carlos Hyde here. Not going to get the first down. He's down at 27-yard line, third and two. Can you tell I'm trying to eat up, eat up as much clock in the second half as possible? This Cardinals team is a lot better than I was expecting. I, th I want to say that their quarterback is Blaine Gabbert. And I just overthrow Carey there. He was wide open. I think the computer forced that one. And we get a field goal, but our defense gives up a touchdown, so now we're down by seven. So we need a touchdown to tie it up. We're going to find Sanders over the middle. Pick up about seven. Second and three. I think Sanders is up to four catches now. He's in a really nice game. I'll tell you now that Sanders is like the only receiver that I trust that's consistently on the field. Because, again, I can't get George Kittle on the field. I need to figure out how, but I still have it. Try a screen pass here to Sanders that completely backfires. So fourth and two, we're going for it. Now, if I don't pick this up, um, we're probably screwing, screwing ourselves if I don't pick it up. So that's why I want Sanders running across the middle as a safety blanket, just in case. There we go. He makes a catch. Just enough for the first down. Four-yard pickup. First and ten. This is going to be a long drive if we keep playing it this way. First and ten. Bad run by Carlos Hyde. 14 carries, 38 yards. You guys remember last week. I think he put up like 58 yards total for the entire game. I don't blame him. I blame the offensive line. They don't block very well. Now, a lot of people say Madden's scripted. Um, if it was, I'd be winning like every game. But, oh my God. This is why I want you to move down to third string Vance McDonald. How do you drop that when nobody's touching you? Third and 13. Piece of crap. All right, we're trying to get, we're trying to get George Kittle on the field now. Oh, he's right there. Oh, what? I like that play. See if we can get George Kittle out wide doing a wheel route type of thing. This is going to chuck it downfield to him. And they take out his legs while he's jumping for it. So we're going to punt in there. See how our defense does. Oh, they gave up another touchdown. So now we're down by 14 in the fourth quarter. Are you surprised? I'm not. This defense is trash. Let me scramble here. See if I can get some blockers. Run out of bounds so I don't fumble it. Oh, look. I have more yards than Carlos Hyde does so far. 22-yard run right there by me. <laughs> See, if, if I was still T, uh, Tim Tebow, we would be running for like a 1,000 yards. 
once again, but I'm not doing that with Trubisky. That's not really Trubisky's game. And once again, we take a sack there. We lose 13 yards. We got no blockers. If you disagree and you're like, nah, a lot of those sacks are your fault. You hold the ball, ball too long. Let me know. I don't feel like I do. I feel like I'm waiting for the plays to develop. That time I got no blocker at all from my right tackle. He just stood there watching. So it's third and 31. Can you tell that I hate this team already? It's pissing me off how bad they are. I should have known that, though, looking at their record before I signed with them. Let's see. We find Tajay Sharp. Short of the first down, though. So fourth and two after that nice catch. We need to pick this up. If we don't, we're probably out of the game. We find Emmanuel Sanders once again. Down at the 36. Up to 319 yards for me for the day. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. we got 342 left. If I score here, my defense makes a stop. I should have a shot at tying it up. And Carey drops the ball. Well, of course he does. Yeah, I'm pissed. Did you see that I changed up the like equipment I'm wearing? I switched to wearing a black visor. I thought it was cool. Oh, I did mention that we were in black uniforms earlier. I apologize for that. Um... I thought we were, because I remember putting black uniforms on. It was just not for this game. It's for a different one. Um, but yeah, I switched up. My, I'm now, now wearing a black visor. And I switched up my undershirt to be in the uh, tight, uh, shorter sleeves. You see those black sleeves? And then I switched up my arm guards as well. I should now have the playbook on one hand. It just makes it look cooler. It doesn't really do anything. And of course, Carlos Hyde does not pick that up. So we have to go for it on fourth and four. And we have to pick it up. Because if we don't, basically game over. Sanders open again. Oh, that's sharp. Down at the 16-yard line. First and 10. I feel like we haven't scored at all in the second half yet. I don't think we have. When did we get a field goal? All right, so Dobson running over the middle. I'm looking for you, buddy. Did he make the catch? No, he drops it. Second and 10. Going to go right back to it. Dobson's still out there. Nope, they moved him to the slot. Not open. Nobody's open, and I take a sack. Of course I do. I don't know what what, what what they expect me to do. They have five sacks. Our defense is zero. Our defense is horrible. I don't know how. We have great defenders on the defensive line. We have okay linebackers. Um, the issue is we don't have great secondary. Or And I think some of our linebackers weren't that good either. So first and goal at the two-minute warning. If I scramble in here, it should should end this. And then it be, should be a quick, hopefully quick, get the ball back. Scramble right in. And our defense gets us the ball back at our own five-yard line with 43 seconds left. So they expect us to drive 95 yards in 43 seconds with no timeouts just to tie it up and go to overtime. Let's see how it goes. First catch and run worked pretty good. Got us down to the 28-yard line. Called no huddle because we can't stop the clock. Tajay Sharp with an excellent catch. Gets knocked out of the bounds at the 42-yard line. We got 23 seconds. The clock stops because of him getting out of bounds. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. We're going to take another shot. We want to tie it up and go to overtime. Or go for two. I don't think they'll let us go for two, though. I think the coach is going to force overtime. So Sharp should be open once again. Get out of bounds again. There we go. Down at the 10. 
17 seconds to go. We're feeling pretty good about this drive. So we're going to switch up the play. Instead of calling the same play three times in a row. Sharp having a nice game too. Five catches, 125 yards. All right, so who's going to get open for me? There's Sanders for the touchdown. So we went to overtime. I never once got the ball back. And we lose because our defense is horrible. They gave up a touchdown right away. So we lose 44-38. to 38. No matter how well I played, I think I threw, what, five touchdowns? Four or five touchdowns. I think I threw four, ran one in, and we still lose. Tried my best to have a great comeback. We made a comeback to tie it up, send it to overtime. Our defense just couldn't make us, like, one stop in overtime. That's all he needed. Was one stop that I could have drove down, kicked the field goal, and win. But no. So, we're now one and one. I feel like that was that was scripted. But, again, I, I can't force my defense to do anything. So, it, I don't know. I feel like I got robbed there. But that's not my defense. So, if you enjoyed this one, I hope you like and uh, subscribe to the video. Come back next time. I forgot who we're playing next. But that will be on Monday. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back Monday.